Who do you think it is? A horse, a gorilla, or a zebra? It's all of that combined. This is the Calicotherium, and it lived in territories of Eurasia and Africa in the Miocene epoch, the period when evolution created the most bizarre and surrealistic creatures. Thanks to such an unusual physique, this animal needed just one powerful right hook to knock any predator out. And that's not the only oddball with a unique superpower that existed long before us. In this video, I'll tell you what creature could break the sound barrier, who had a vacuum cleaner kind of mouth, who could move upside down, and most importantly, what were the most extraordinary features that extinct animals had? Spoiler alert, one of these creatures I've just made up. Can you guess which one? Some remains of prehistoric animals are so unusual that they provoke fierce controversies among paleontologists. For instance, hallucinogenia that lived in Canada and China more than 500 million years ago. Meet the beauty. No, wait, this way. Or maybe, well, even scientists took their time to figure out where its front, back, lower, and upper parts are. The thing is, scholars mistook its feet for tentacles growing on the body, while well, they thought that the back spikes were its feet. Apart from the skill of tricking scientists, this invertebrate presumably had a sophisticated set of teeth. Yeah, this mouth doesn't belong to Demogorgon from Stranger Things. It belongs to Hallucigenia. The creature had needle-shaped teeth not only in its mouth but also in its throat so that it could suck up and grind food. But to give you a chance to sleep peacefully tonight, let me clarify one thing. This beast was no bigger than a pinky and couldn't harm you in any way. Now, the Rack Scientific Brains Challenge is accepted by Opabinia regalis that was the size of a piece of chalk. It lived in present-day Colombia and Canada around 500 million years ago. And again, scientists couldn't tell what was in this creature right away. It turned out that it swam upside down, and its five eyes were located on the back of its head. What's more, researchers were confused by the tail of the Diplodocus that lived in Colorado. What is this? A whip for prehistoric horseback riding? The tail was 14 meters long, which is approximately seven Michael Jordans. Scientists suggest that Diplodocus could even break the sound barrier when swinging its tail back and forth at high speed. This supersonic punch helped the animal protect itself from predator attacks. Quite a convenient self-defense method, right? There were also creatures with specific features that their modern descendants would gladly inherit. At first glance, Onalashka stylus tomidae from the Aleutian Islands is a regular hippopotamus of our era. So what's so special about it? Its mouth. The modern animal that descended from this genus also has quite a terrifying muzzle. But that ancient beast could pull its jaws together and suck plants up while easing the whole process with its powerful muscles. In other words, that was a prehistoric hippopotamus that had a vacuum cleaner instead of a mouth. Modern snakes could also improve their technique of food consumption. But for that, they'd need feet like those that Tetrapodophis amplectus from Brazil used to have. It lived 110 million years ago, and its feet were very tiny, just one centimeter long, roughly the size of a regular paperclip. They helped the snake better grab its prey, for example, small birds. In their turn, feathered animals defended themselves from predators of that kind using maces on their wings. Or at least something like this was found on the body of the Rodriguez solitaire from the island of Rodriguez. This bird is a relative of the dodo that went extinct in the 18th century. It also was flightless and was the size of a goose. Rounded, thick cartilages that looked like maces were located on its wings and helped it defend itself. Although they were no bigger than a human belly button, those spheres let the birds break their attacker's bones. However, some prehistoric animals were born with specific characteristics that were rather more troublesome than helpful. What could be a nuisance of that sort? 
For example, one dinosaur species was unfortunate enough to have short hands. But I'm not talking about the Tyrannosaurus. I mean the Carnotaurus that occupied territories of modern Argentina. T. rex's forelimbs were quite strong, letting them hold on to their opponent while fighting with it. As for the Carnotaurus, its hands were no longer than that of a 10-year-old child. They couldn't be used anyhow at all. It's still unclear why evolution was so cruel to Carnotaurus. If it lived nowadays, a Carnotaurus could at least ride a bike and shout, Look, Mom, go ahead. Now, this Mexican gopher called Cerrato Gallus had a complete set of proper limbs and even a small bonus on top of that, and that's the horns. You may think it used them for digging, but no. The horns were placed at an angle that made them barely suitable for such tasks. Most likely, everything they did caused a migraine, and that's why modern gophers have given up this uncomfortable headwear. And now, I want you to take a long, hard look at Dreadnoughtus. It was the most giant terrestrial animal that has ever existed, and it lived in Argentina 86 million years ago. This dinosaur was 26 meters tall. That's a bit shorter than two Hollywood signs placed on top of each other. Dreadnoughtus weighed 65,000 kilograms, and that's more than seven Tyrannosauruses. Try to guess what kind of problems a cool guy like this could have. It was so huge that finding enough food to feed oneself was pretty challenging. Being just the most enormous fellow won't do. You have to be the most ferocious one. Like these thugs. When it comes to the strongest extinct animals, the first beast that comes to mind is the Tyrannosaurus we've talked about a lot today. And we've already shattered the myth that this dinosaur from North America had the shortest hands. Let's move to the theory that the Tyrannosaurus could only see moving objects. That's a total lie too. Actually, T-Rexes had one of the best eyesight of all the animals. Today, we think that the sharpest eyes belong to eagles since they can see things 3.6 times better than humans. At the same time, the eyesight of T-Rexes was no less than 13 times better than ours. We can sight objects located 1.6 kilometers away. But a T-Rex could easily see them even if they were 6 kilometers away. In fact, it could take a tour of Hillwood Estate. Look out the window and watch what they're doing there at the White House. But even having a keen vision like that, this dinosaur wouldn't spot Enigma Broma, a prehistoric giant octopus that could be found in the Pacific Ocean. Just like its descendants, it could skillfully disguise itself. Besides, it had small lumps on the head that resembled horns. It's doubtful that it used them as means of defense. The worst they could do was tickling shark stomachs. Maybe the horns helped the octopus flip rocks while searching for fish. The most exciting part is that Enigma Broma could be a relative of the animal you've already been introduced to, Hallucigenia. Their teeth look very similar, several rows of sharp needles. But this time, I'm afraid I can't put you at ease because unlike little harmless Hallucigenia, Enigma Broma was 11 meters long. That's like 2.7 giraffes. You'll see him in your next nightmare. All right, no need to freak out. In this prehistoric gang, there was a giant that could beat the undersea venom. And that is Mosasaurus, a mighty predator who lived in the waters of Europe and North America 70 million years ago. Its length could reach up to 17 meters, which is approximately two London buses. In fact, that was the most dangerous creature of the ocean throughout the whole Cretaceous period. It looked like a giant crocodile with fins that helped it move under the water. In this case, it won't be shameful to say thank God it went extinct. Well, I think it's time to figure out which of these ancient animals with odd features is nothing more than a figment of my imagination. The horned gopher, the bird with maces, or maybe the giant dinosaur that could crush any of the letters of the Hollywood sign in one move of its foot. Any other suggestions? Share your ideas in the comments.